She's a home cook from Santa Barbara, and she competed against other home cooks across the U.S. for a shot at 50 grand. We're going to find out what she's up to these days. Sharin is out on the patio with our friend Vanessa Craig. Sharin? That's right, Tony. It was an intense eight weeks, and the finale was a nail biter. If you missed it, here are the final moments of the Food Network's All Star Academy. The pressure is immense. I'm doing this for so many reasons, and I know that Joseph needs this money for his personal reasons. So we're, we're both cooking for a purpose, and it's not going to be an easy choice. Curtis, I ask you, who is the winner of All Star Academy? Wow. You both cooked fantastic dishes, and it's really, really difficult for me to split them. The winner of All Star Academy is... Joseph. Oh! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I stayed up late Sunday night to watch that, and my heart was just uh, beating so fast <laughs> for you. But. I'm shocked. I'm shocked you didn't take the, the first place, but congratulations. Tens of thousands of people auditioned to be on this All-Star Academy, and we have someone who made second place right here at home. So, so proud of you. Thank How do you, you feel? I feel really great. You know, uh, the whole experience has been amazing, and the fact that I made it this far is, I think, an accomplishment um, in itself. So I'm really proud of myself. I'm really uh -huh. proud of my co-component, uh, comp yeah. co-competitors. Co <laughs> <long night. laughs> so, yeah. So I'm, I'm really proud and I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, yeah, I'm here. You should be proud. Let's talk a little bit about the finale though okay. before we get to cooking. It was intense. I was watching you. You were kind of going back and forth. You made some stellar dishes that really got some high scores there. I did. I thought I was on a roll. I mean, we yeah. had a breakfast, lunch, and dinner uh, challenge and I hit perfect breakfast and then a perfect lunch. Yeah. And then I did my sea bass, which means a lot to me. I actually had it here at the Citronelle back in the day. I had a mm. wonderful sea bass and that taught me how amazing food can be. I mean, the elevated uh, culinary experience is unlike anything else. So, um, yeah, so I I put my heart and soul into it, so I gave it everything I had. And you got some raving reviews about the dishes, and you you actually, you're the inspiration about behind this, I want to share with our viewers exactly what was kind of pushing you through week after week. Well, I'd have to say um, my family is uh, is a definitely a big motivator for me. Um, I had, you know, everyone has a pretty, you know, story when yeah. they were growing up, and um, mine was, you know, I lost my rock, I'd lost my, my stepfather, and uh, the, being in the kitchen really gave me um, a sense of control and just happiness and I was able to honor my father um, in, in the kitchen by, by just sharing uh, what he taught me and just love, love, love. Yes, and he would be so proud of you right now. We're so proud of you. <laughs> Santa Barbara resident from Solvang. She was actually cooking up a storm last night. We were at Larner That's Wine. Right. So thank you for hosting us last night. The dinner was fabulous. And from that dinner, we have one of the items that I actually loved and I, I told her, can you please make this in the morning show? So what do you have for us this morning? Today we're doing a local Santa Barbara ceviche. Uh, okay. I think it's very important that we take advantage of our uh, local produce and purveyors. So this is a local Santa Barbara grouper or a halibut caught right offshore here. Love it. Keep it local. Absolutely. We have avocados that were grown right here in uh, Santa Barbara County. Also grapefruits. These beautiful grapefruits mm. are also grown here. So I mean okay. this was all farmers market so I'm really proud to, to put this dish out. This was today. so delicious so I would take notes and if, <laughs> if we can actually replicate it for your guests, it would make a great appetizer. Absolutely. So let's get going. We have a few minutes here. Okay, great. Well, what I'm going to do, and I, let's do it as fast as I can, but this is a technique that uh, Chef Michael Simon taught me. It's called supreming. And what you want to do is just kind of go around and you take all the pith off. Let's see if we can kind of get a little corner here. And we'll just do like a little bit. But what we're going to do is you're going to see it like this. And what you want to do is just take it out of that membrane. Okay? So you have beautiful little like surgeon here <laughs> I know right <laughs> so this is something that Michael taught me and any home cook obviously wow, can elevate okay. their salad like this or it, it's just you know it just makes it a lot more enjoyable so I just wanted to share that with viewers today that was really neat thank okay. you yes and, and you add that here in your ceviche I do I do so in my ceviche here I have the grapefruit we also have oranges and lime juice um, now in 
ceviche is amazing because you can throw it together for a party and you know set it and forget it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what we're gonna do? Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa! We almost <laughs> forgot the best part. Did this we not? This was unbelievable. We tried it last night again at Larner Wines, and it was just so, so delicious. How did you get your avocado so? Uh, it almost looks like a cream. It is. What we're doing is it's actually an avocado mousse, and a really high-speed blender is your best friend on this guy. Um, just smash up some avocado, a little red onion in there, a little salt, and the secret ingredient of all things is chicken broth and a little water. You said instead of water, use chicken broth because it makes it a little bit more tasty, right? A little right? bit tastier, yeah. Anytime you incorporate a broth into anything that you're doing, you're going to get a, uh, a much, a much uh, richer um, little broth. So that is our ceviche, simple as that. So what kind of uh, meat was this? This is a Santa Barbara grouper, is what Got they it. call okay. that. So, and then you can just... Orange slices, some grapefruit. That's right, lime juice. Said? We have uh, a little bit of jalapeno, obviously, because we like to spice it up here in Santa Barbara. And just put a little garnish on there. And it looks really beautiful, and it's a it's a great you know as the weather is warming up, it's yeah. a great backyard a, or beach kind of bring along. It it's was very fresh, nice and, and that limeness gives it a nice taste. Absolutely. Um, I would actually want to take one right now. <laughs> okay. And. We are going to be making, I'm going to make one actually for it. So oh, this is my version of the ceviche. Let's see how quickly we can make one. There we go. Take a little bit of this avocado mousse that she has here. I'll hold so, that for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's hard to do this with one hand. Good. Yeah, but this avocado mousse, um, I think, really did the trick here. <laughs> okay. I'm going to hold it again for you. Thank you so much. Sure. Kind of keep it all together. There we go. Perfect. And so, yeah, as I was mentioning, this was it would make a really nice appetizer for your guests. And Absolutely. as Vanessa yeah. likes to do everything, she likes to put a nice little <laughs> decorative touch to it. Always, always, we eat with our eyes first. How did you get this to stand up? That was awesome. Um, so that's <laughs> fabulous. We'll taste that in just a second. But Vanessa, again, we're so proud of you. She is the runner-up, basically, the second person to win second place here okay. at the All-Star Academy for Food Network. So what is the future for you here? I know you're a private chef now. That's right, private chef. Basically, I'd love to work with vineyards and, um, you know, pairing wine. How much fun was that? It was amazing, yes. Creating you, pairing your dinners with the wines was fabulous. That's right. And it really just elevates your whole experience. And we have to take advantage of the fact that we live in an amazing wine-producing area. Yeah. So um, I'd love to you know have a get a restaurant going possibly a reality show of me starting my restaurant yeah. um, and just kind of showcase Santa Barbara and all of the amazing bounty that we that we provide <laughs> here so um, yeah that would be the ultimate goal but I just want to stay in the area and just yeah. represent what we what we've got here well, we're proud of her Vanessa Craig thanks so much for joining us all of these weeks we'll see you back here tomorrow and I'm about to try the ceviche have a great weekend everybody <laughs>